Are you nervous about going under contract with a buyer and you're the seller? How in the heck can you get out of a contract if you change your mind or even your circumstances change? Well, today we are gonna be talking about how to back out of a contract as a seller. Hi, my name is Caitlin Peterson. Welcome to the Home in Ogden YouTube channel. I am a local realtor with Ridgeline Realty, and today we're talking about how to back out of a contract as a seller. So if you've already gone under contract and you're the seller, I'm sure you've heard that you're basically married to the contract. And the truth is that you can get out of the contract. The main way to back out is actually just to catch the buyer or the buyer's agent in an avoidable situation. Um, this means that something has happened and you as a seller can cancel the contract. So voidable means that the contract isn't automatically voided, it's not automatically dead. It just means that someone can cancel. Um, the main way of this happening is if they don't deposit their earnest money on time or if they don't deposit it at all. And actually another way is if the buyer just can't get financing and you as the seller find out about that, then you can cancel. Because if the buyer actually can't buy the property, um, then that's going to be an issue. So let's talk about earnest money. So if you want to back out of the contract at a different time um, during the contract, but nothing is really being presented as voidable, meaning you're just, I just changed my mind or your circumstances change, you can back out, but you will have to pay damages. So we've talked about damages before, but damages come into play as earnest money. So the amount that a buyer has entered as their earnest money is gonna be the amount in damages that a seller would have to pay out. So for example, if the buyer puts in $10,000 earnest money and you as the seller have to back out, something happened, you can't sell your house now, the buyer will get their $10,000 earnest money, but you as a seller, you have to pay that back plus in an equal amount in damages. So you would be giving them an extra $10,000. So they get their $10,000 back, plus you'd pay them $10,000. This is where it's tricky to accept an offer with a large amount of earnest money. Um, we've even seen earnest money as high as $50,000. Well, guess what? If you back out, the buyer will be getting a check from you for $50,000. And we've mentioned this before, but one thing about earnest money is that once it's been paid out as damages, you, the seller or the buyer can no longer sue the other party. So you can't sue them for more money and you can't sue them for specific performance, meaning you have to buy my house or anything like that. Did you know that a seller can in fact back out of the contract in Utah? It is possible, but be sure you consult with your real estate agent and your lawyer about the consequences of an accepting an offer before you're actually ready to go under contract, okay? All right, my name is Caitlin Peterson. I hope you guys stick around and watch my next video. Bye.